Here we have the lever that engages the tracking for our altitude. This is our altitude motor right here. The, the whole thing works on a sixteenth of an inch stainless steel piece of aircraft cable. When you have this engaged, this motor now takes up the tension so it will drive the entire telescope. You should, just as a, a matter of setting it up, make sure the scope actually balances before you put the drive on. It'll make up slight differences, but you'll put a lot less wear and tear on the gears if you actually just balance the telescope. Uh, I know you've got quite a large camera going on the front, so chances are, if anything's out of balance, you'll probably need to add some weight back here to the rear. You can bolt it on to any of those uh, bolts that are bolting the cell on. And that's usually an easy way to uh, hang some weight back there. If you need to add weight up at the top, the best way is to pop the caps on the truss tubes and just put some lead shot down the front of the trusses. They're filled with uh, two-part foam, so you may have to take a screwdriver and scrape yourself out some foam, but it'll work. But this is how you engage it and disengage it. As long as your Argo is on, you can take it out of engage, move it around the whole sky, do whatever, and just relock it on to re-engage it. No problem at all. It, uh, it doesn't forget where it's at because you've disengaged the drive.